My name is Bruce Borosian. I was president of the American University of Armenia from 2010 to 2014. I'm now a professor of mathematics at Tufts University in the Boston area. I would have loved to be at the 30th anniversary gala this year. Unfortunately, I uh, am unable to attend. I'm actually in Armenia this summer and much of the fall. Uh, over the years since my presidency, I've become involved in various projects in Armenia, and I'm spending time here this year. I'd like to congratulate the uh, administration and the board of the American University of Armenia on the occasion of this 30th anniversary. Uh, I'd like to congratulate all of the supporters and, and the, the stakeholders in, in the American University of Armenia as well. Uh, on this, this great occasion. Moving to the present day, I think two events that have really uh, changed the landscape in Armenia since the time that I was here as president are the Velvet Revolution of 2018 and the war in Artsakh in 2020. Uh, the, the first of these ushered in a, a new concept of democracy in Armenia. The second made it clear that the country continues to face challenges in this geopolitical locale. Uh, both of these things, uh, both the creation of, of a new kind of democratic governance and the response to the diplomatic and political challenges of uh, working with the countries around us to create a stable uh, peace in the region, will require expertise uh, in, a, in a broad array of fields, uh, including and, and not limited to the scientific fields, political science, public policy, economics, uh, and, and these are, are fields that I think will become increasingly important at AUA as a result of these new realities. There is widespread agreement uh, in Armenia, both in uh, among politicians, among leaders of industry, among leaders of education in the country, that IT will be a critically important area for Armenia in the future. It will help connect Armenia to the global value chain and make it an important player in a lot of the revolutions that are occurring in industry now, in particular in data science, in machine learning, in uh, uh, computer and computational science, in mathematical modeling, all kinds of scientific fields, there will be opportunities that Armenia can seize upon. And we want to create students that uh, will help Armenia meet these challenges and enter, uh, take its place in the global value chain uh, in the coming years. Armenia does not have to have expertise in all of these different areas, but they have to be absolutely the best in the world in some of these areas. For a country this size, we need to find those areas in which Armenia can make unique contributions that are the best in the world, because that is the only metric that matters. It's not enough to be the best in the region, it's not enough to be the best on the continent. We're looking to connect to worldwide markets, and we must be able to compete in those markets. This, I think, is true for AUA, but it's not true just for AUA. It's true for all the universities in Armenia. And I think all the universities that have programs in STEM fields will end up working together in various ways and producing the, the next generation of people who are truly world experts in these areas. I think it's an exciting area to watch for the future. That the new science and engineering building at AUA will help make AUA contribute, give a driving force to the development of STEM fields in Armenia generally. Uh, in a number of different ways, but I'd like to put my finger on one particular way. I really believe that universities are made excellent by the excellence 
of their faculty, and ultimately that translates to the excellence of their students. Uh, buildings are useful in that sense because if you want to attract the best faculty in the world to come to AUA, you have to, and, and, and you want to retain that faculty, then you have to provide them with the facilities that they expect and the facilities that they could get from other universities that might compete for them. That includes excellent laboratories, excellent workspaces, uh, excellent collaborative spaces, excellent supercomputing facilities, lots of different things that will come together in the new science and engineering building at AUA. The goal is to attract, once again, the best faculty that we can get from the world market because, once again, that is the only standard that matters in, in the development of STEM education at AUA. So the building will help hopefully attract uh, excellent faculty and we will begin to produce excellent students and this will, will bootstrap uh, and, and help the university grow in these areas.